Adobe Company has created a range of programs that can fit any type of digital creation, graphic design, 2D animation, or 3D animation. You can find different pieces of software from Adobe products that will allow you to create fantastic artwork. Two of the most prominent ones are Adobe Animate and After Effects for animation and compositing. Although they are two different programs, they create similar results. In this video, we will review both of them, shedding light on their key differences. First of all, we will be giving you a quick overview of both programs. Animate is a handy tool used by professionals to create 2D animations. This program is vector-based and it produces stunning, high-quality videos. Animate allows you to export your work as HTML5 Canvas, WebGL or SVG which are perfect for web content publishing. After Effects, on the other hand, is an industry standard for VFX and compositing. This program has a different approach for motion graphics and visual effects, offering a lot of capabilities as well as allowing you to create animation. After this brief overview, let's discover the use cases for each tool. Adobe Animate is very handy to use in different fields, like vector graphics, interactive animations, website animations, video games, advertisements, HTML5 canvas, animation films, and TV shows. Animate was actually used for a lot of TV shows, and of course, cartoon animation. It's ideal for creating high-quality cartoon animations that greatly fit the big screen, as it was created to particularly work on animation characters. Looking at the other side of the comparison, we should start with the fact that After Effects is the industry standard for compositing and visual effects. Thanks to its amazing capabilities, After Effects has a larger use horizon. It's used for creating 2D compositing, making stunning VFX, creating text in 3D space, and animating text and titles. After Effects is actually ideal for creating animation characters and rotoscoping productions. Besides that, it's extensively used for motion graphics and infographics that can be very good for commercials or explainer videos. When it comes to the learning curve, any software will take at least a decent amount of time to learn how to use it. Particularly, animation programs are time-consuming as well. The dev of Animate have effectively thought out the difficulty of the learning curve, which a lot of other programs have, and that makes it one of the easiest pieces of software out there. Therefore, you will be able to create stunning animations in less time. It has a user-friendly interface with accessible tools that are set up for simple use. In addition to that, its timeline is tailored perfectly for animation, and you can easily create keyframes, add and select frames for creating motion graphics. Luckily, there is great availability of video tutorials that can help you getting started with Animate. After Effects, on the other hand, has a steep learning curve due to the wide range of possibilities that it has. It has advanced and complex features which create the complexity of using it. Even the basics on how to use this software may be complicated. In addition to that, all the tools appear in the workspace. Therefore, After Effects can be a little confusing, and that's due to the blending timeline that forces the interface to look chunky. Nevertheless, do not get intimidated by After Effects upon first glance. With the help of tutorials, you can get around this. Now let's move to the interface of each software. As a start, we must highlight one important similarity, which is having customizable interfaces. The interface of Animate is one of the main reasons that makes it amount to a great piece of software, and there are four elements that highlight this. The first one is the ease of use, since it's a clean and a simple interface. The second is the accessibility, since the UI allows you an easy access to all tools. The third one is the customization. As mentioned previously, the interface is customizable, which means that you can snap, resize, and attach panels in any place you like. The fourth and the final one is the organization. The interface of Animate is already quite organized, with an easy selection to the frames. On the right you will find the library, where all assets can be found, and on the left you have the color panels, alignment, and scene. Looking at the other side of the comparison, 
for the first time using After Effects, the interface may appear cluttered. It will require you to spend time to fully understand the working principle. The timeline is a combination of animation and video editing. Moreover, the UI is divided as follows. You have the timeline at the bottom, we have effects and quick access to them on the right, and the effect controls can be found on the left. Looking at the art tools, Adobe Animate provides you with so many interesting tools. You have vector-based tools for drawing. They can help you create scalable graphics with high quality. You also have the freehand drawing tool, which can help you create an impressive hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation. When it comes to the brushes, they're also vector-based, and they have great pressure sensitivity, so you can use it with a touch device or stylus. Last but not least, you have the wrap tool, which is one of the coolest tools within Animate that allows you to produce nature-like objects. While working with patterns and textures, the wrap tool allows you to add points to meshes in order to transform and rotate the points. After Effects also has many features, therefore, it's considered to be a versatile software. It's probably the only software in the market with that great array of tools and features. However, it's very limited when it comes to the art tools. For text, it allows you to add 3D text, but when it comes to the other element drawing, you may need to use another program like Illustrator, for example, and then import your graphics to After Effects. It's no secret that Animate and After Effects provide you with extensive animation tools, and with these powerful tools, the sky is the limit. For character animation, Animate is featured with mesh keyframing and lip syncing, which makes it ideal for creating cartoons. For realistic movements, the software has mesh points, which allows you to integrate the animated points in the character body, for example, to be animated as one unit. When it comes to the camera, it's one of Animate's greatest features, which gives you the possibility to apply animation style on the camera movement. When it comes to After Effects, it stands the competition very well. For special effects animation, After Effects empowers you to work in 3D space where you can use camera tracker, manipulate footage, and add advanced VFX, such as snowfall, explosions, and so on. For rotoscoping, After Effects comes with advanced capabilities. It works as a green screen without having any green screen. You can apply it to anything from object, windows, or heads. The rotoscope tool will automatically track the object you're working on during the footage, which is fantastic. For character animation, after Effects has Puppet tool that can add keyframe animation to characters. This tool also functions as the wrap tool of Animate, where you can apply a mesh, such as Structure, to animate the object as you like. For text animation, After Effects displays a huge advantage to animate titles, in addition to animating text that can be very helpful for logo animation, which can all be manipulated in the 3D environment. Furthermore, you can copy-paste the settings to be used for another object animation, which will save you tons of time. Another time-saver feature is the GIF Gun tool that allows you to render and export GIFs with one single click. With the Puppet animation, Animate allows you to rig a character and change its poses without the need to redraw it again. The rigging process is easy and basic, therefore you can do it very quickly. Just like Animate, After Effects provides you with Puppet Pin tool to rig characters. Furthermore, you can add plugins for automatic rigging tasks. When it comes to compositing, unfortunately, Animate is very limited. Animate users usually export their work to another program to do compositing. Here's where After Effects shows off its capabilities. When it comes to compositing, After Effects is the industry standard with its leading VFX since it's equipped with powerful tools and features to do an amazing compositing work. The ability to create effects is the greatest thing about After Effects, which can be created in a seamless way. There are many tools within After Effects that help you with compositing, from masking tools and layering system to even the interface itself. Moreover, After Effects has integration with Adobe Premiere for even more advanced compositing of VFX, it allows you to combine 2D animation with live-action raw footage. On top of that, you can combine multiple 3D layers together, which will enable you to compose different video layers in the same frame. 
Furthermore, you'll have control over lighting and shadow to make objects look realistic. When it comes to pricing, both Adobe Animate and After Effects come with the Creative Cloud subscription. If you want to purchase the whole cloud products, you need to pay roughly $53 per month or around $600 for the annual plan. To sum it up, Animate must be placed a crown upon when it comes to the learning curve, interface and art tools. On the other hand, After Effects is on top of its game in terms of animation and compositing. Regarding other offers such as rigging tools and pricing, we could call it a tie. However, the main factor for you to choose between these two amazing and powerful programs is what type of results you want to achieve. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.